Welcome to the Jaffa programming tutorial. Um, this tutorial is about threads. The last tutorial I showed you how to create a thread and the two different ways of creating threads inside Jaffa. Now, it's to do with an inheritance. Jaffa's rule is that you can only inherit one class. And so, if you already inherit a class, say like um, JFrame from Swing in Java, that means you wouldn't be able to inherit the thread class which would mean you wouldn't be able to create a thread for that class. Now, what Java has is another way of doing it, it implements Runnable. And it does the exact same job, but it's just an extra stage you've got to do to create a thread. And because it's implemented Runnable, you're not inheriting the thread object. So, so you create an instance of the class that implements Runnable, and then you create an object of thread, and then you pass the object of the class that implements Runnable and you pass it as an argument to the thread. On that you have created a thread. And it's just that one more st one stage more um, for for implementation of Runnable. Um, so I showed you that in the last tutorial. And so this tutorial we're going to look at the the method sleep. And so you can put you can put a, a thread to sleep for so many seconds or so many minutes and that's what I'm going to show you now. So that's a runnable, that's a me <coughs> excuse me, that's a main method calling the runnable, um, the implemented runnable class thread, and then the start. And so if I just run the program, you'll see what happens. The principle implements runnable because it's coming from this one. And so the code that's inside the run method is going to be the code that's exit thread. And so if we go, if we come to, if we go back to the main, um, and we add before start, if we go td what we call the thread dot sleep, and it's in milliseconds, so we we'll go. 1 thousand for 1 second and before we get there we're going to show that the program's running This here needs to be um, surrounded by a catch, a, a try and catch, or you do a froze exception. So surround it. So we're surrounded by a try and catch because the interrupted exception can be thrown here. And so if we save, um, run the program, you'll see what happens now. It's waiting for the thread, and it waited one second. So that is what sleep does, and so I'm going to make it wait a little bit longer, but not too long. It's waiting, and it's waiting. It should be 10 seconds, <laughs> if my maths is right, but let's see what happens. There you go, and so so that is the race working. Right, so that's a simple method there of doing it, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a while route in here so that when it's when it finishes the the thread it's going to come back up start the thread again and do the code again so it's going to wait um, for 10 seconds wait for 10 seconds wait for 10 seconds and so to do that I'm going to put the the while route in here true and after here we'll do the close press so what I'm going to do is put this outside the wire route. And so if I save, run the program. Right, so it's waiting for Fred, the Fred. It should be 10 seconds. 
and then it's waiting again but I never typed it out there so it's, that's why I put it outside the while loop in 10 seconds it will increment the interval again on screen that's another 10 seconds and another 10 seconds it will be the same again so there you go that's another one and so we'll stop the program I can make it go faster just to show you that what we're doing is we're doing the in the the, the thread that's going for one second now because we've changed it was 10 seconds then it wakes up moves to the next line of code executes a run program inside here and once the once the, the code's executed in the run uh, method that's a thread stopped that's a, the thread is only for the code inside here but we can have a for it we can have a infinite while loop and um, so we can do all sorts of things so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this now just one second at a time and you see it's faster so that's us actually got control so that could be us pulling a network for information or reading a file and instead of doing it constantly and the data's not changed we can give uh, we can make it sleep for so many seconds and check to see if there's been a change and when it's been a change it can send that information back to us say oh something's changed and um, the same thing happens when you click a button and and the it windows um, that's a that's a, a a thread that's running in the background waiting for you to do something and when you do something then it will activate the action that you want it to want to happen and so so that's uh, the sleep method and threads so thank you for your time